gene probes. So to produce a DNA probe, you must first sequence the allele that you want to screen for. You then use the polymerase chain reaction to produce multiple complementary copies of that part of the allele, and that is what is known as the probes. Locating alleles using DNA probes. So DNA probes can be used to locate alleles of genes or to see if a person's DNA contains a mutated allele that causes a disorder. And DNA probes are short strands of DNA and they have a specific base sequence that's complementary to the base sequence of a part of a target allele. This means that a DNA probe will bind to the target allele if it's in a sample of DNA. And a DNA probe also has a label attached to it so that it can be detected. And the two most common labels are radioactive labels detected using X-ray film or a fluorescent label detected using UV light. So fluorescently labelled probes. So step one, a sample of DNA is digested into fragments using restriction enzymes and separated using electrophoresis. Step two, the separated DNA fragments are then transferred to a nylon membrane and incubate, incubated with a fluorescently labelled DNA probe. And if the allele is present, the DNA probe will bind to it. The membrane is then exposed to UV light and if the gene present, is present, there will be a fluorescent band there. Screening for multiple genes. So the probe... <coughs> it can be used as part of a DNA microarray, which can screen for lots of different genes at the same time. And a DNA microarray is a glass slide with microscopic spots of different DNA probes attached to it in rows. And a sample of fluorescently labelled human DNA is washed over the array. And if the labelled human DNA contains any DNA sequence that match a probe the matcher probe it will stick to the array this means that you can screen the dna for different mutated genes at the same time and then the array is washed to remove any fluorescently labeled dna that hasn't stuck to it and then visualized under uv light and any labeled dna attached to a probe will show up or fluoresce and the spot that fluoresces means that the person's dna contains that allele and if the probe is for a mutated allele caused by a genetic disorder, that means this person has the allele.